this is my first trip to Guatemala, my first experience with this. I heard that there was an unbelievable bite going off in Guatemala, so I talked to a couple of the guys, and here we are at Casa Vieja Lodge in Guatemala, and I get the chance to fish with some, some great friends. Some of the boats were releasing 30 and 40 fish a day. Um, I just had to come down and see it. Hopped on the plane, landed in Guatemala City, really looking forward to tomorrow. Now we got to get all my gear put together, have a nice dinner, go to bed, wake up and, and get on with it. There's one thing I know for sure is the driving here in Guatemala, it's, it's scary, it's dangerous. I mean, look at look at this. I mean, that bus just about ran us off the road, and there's a funeral possession in the middle of the road. Time for a couple cocktails. Fishing is my fishing life. Fishing is life. all I think about. I, think about. I can't stop thinking about it. I'm obsessed with fishing. That thing is a monster. That's it. Where I'm going next. What I'm going to fish for. Fish for. Nice. I get so caught up. It's all consuming. Okay. I can't stop thinking about I'm it. I'm obsessed with fishing. Look at that. Our first day out fishing was huge seas for Guatemala, six, six, five to six foot seas. And, and literally, literally, the day before we got here, I had two friends of mine fishing. The day before we started fishing, they released 47 fish. And then the cameras come and the fish are gone. And I mean gone. This is, a, this is typically a place, Guatemala in general, that that 30, 40, 50, even 70 fish days aren't that uncommon. And I mean, we're squeaking out two bites a day. Jason, thanks for coming. Hey, good morning. Huh? I know you were in Florida. You got here yesterday. No problem. Happy to it's be here. It's Christmas. Yeah, right? happy to be here. <laughs> so, Sam. Yeah, man. 25 years of fishing with Sam. Yeah, baby, I, come huh? on. Yeah. <laughs> I can't be happier, but, you know, we've had kind of tough fishing in close. A lot of dirtier water. I mean, it's kind of clear green, but... Yeah, green water moved in, and it's kind of taken over, so we're going to run... 55 miles and go try to find something to Start do. at 55? All right. Do Anyhow. it. Let's go. Thank you. Let's Thank go. you. Dude, that was quite a run. So how far are we? 62 miles. 62 miles. How far have you been out before? I think this is the farthest I've fished here in Guatemala. And how many years? Even my eighth year. So. Eighth year. 62 miles. 62 miles. That's that's a long way to go. What's the farthest you've ever been? The farthest I've ever been is in the 40s. So we're 20 miles further than so you've ever had to go before. Further, further than that. It's amazing. Let's see if we can turn this around. There's a turtle wrapped up in this line. Let's see you if we can get just him? Save, him. save him. Yeah. All right. Jeffrey, let's, let's wind this stuff that, this, in. This is, you know what? I love doing this. This is a little conservation piece. So there's a turtle wrapped up in this long line over here. and. We're gonna, we're gonna save him. We're gonna go in there and cut him free from the long line. It looks like a whole water rope in there. This is gonna change our karma for sure. I'm gonna grab him. Got him. He's in really good shape. Here, cut that one. That's a good, that's a, that's a good one. Watch your finger. Yeah. Stray long line's pretty, uh, pretty deadly. They're lethal, aren't they? There. Is it free? Yeah. All right, he's going. One. See you, buddy. Right. Thanks for getting rid of him. Right. 62 miles out and just saved a few critters. It's a good deal. Unbelievable. You know, the problem with this, this is a never ending killing machine. Absolutely. You know, he dies, stuff comes around because it's flesh and whatnot, something else gets caught in it, something else, it just never ends. Right. We're in blue water, 
We saved the turtle, had a fish come up on the left teaser, and now we see some porpoises up in front of us, some spinners. So maybe they're tuna, there's some life. The water looks beautiful. I mean, this is the best water we've seen since we've been here. It just happens to be 62 miles out. There he is, left long. Left long? Left flat, left flat, left, left flat. flat, sorry. Flat of meat. Ah, beautiful, wow. Yeah, man. That's the way, Guatemala. Another beautiful go. fish. That was a great eat, Sam. Yeah, that was fantastic. Love it. Blue water, flat water. Couple of bites. Sam, you and I have fished all over together, and now we're in Guatemala. Yeah, man. All that Finally. fishing we've done in the Rocky Mountains. You've been to see me twice in Panama. We fished the in Keys. Florida Keys. And now we're here. And we're hooked up. Guatemala style. <laughs> Look at this guy. From the Keys to Alaska to Guatemala. Where we go next, I don't know. But I'll be there. Later. Need him tagged on the outside. Oh, Wilson. Beautiful. Casa Vieja, Guatemala, baby. Come on down. When the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. Come to Guatemala for sailfish. We find ourselves in the middle of all these spinners. Tuna right here. Looks like it looks like a pretty big school. Look at them. I see what we're going to do the rest of the day. The Obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Shimano. CB Boats, lead the way. Ray Marine, world leaders in marine electronics. And by Mercury Marine, celebrating 75 years of marine excellence. I'm really excited to have my own show, The Obsession of Carter Andrews. We started out behind the eight ball a little bit just in timing wise. We were getting our shows together. I had a great, great series of shows scheduled and all kinds of super destinations. I was up on Henry's Lake with a couple friends of mine fishing. I was trying to load the boat late in the afternoon and I tore my distal tendon, which holds my bicep to the bone. It was a complete tear. I had to have surgery. The doctor said, Carter, you're gonna be out for three months. I had to cancel all my trips, Louisiana, Bahamas, Guatemala, and now we're really under the gun because the Outdoor Channel is expecting us to have X amount of shows in the can by January 1. I wasn't cleared to go on any trips and fish until after January, but right now it's December 23rd and I am here in Guatemala trying to put some shows together. My arm is suffering a little bit. It's been tough. I was fortunate enough that the guys from Casa Vieja Lodge had a vacancy and let me come down to Guatemala to experience what we hoped would be some of the greatest sail fishing in the world. You know, we've all found ourselves here before. Plan a trip from six months out. Your expectations are so high, you're going to, you know, a world-class fishing destination. This is a prime example, Guatemala, some of the best sail fishing in the world. But then there's some things that are out of your control. The bite's not here, it's not happening and you just do the best you can. You know, I'm a little stressed out because I'm here filming a TV show for my first season, and you know, the bite pretty much dried up, and it, it's been really difficult. You know, we're seeing four to six fish a day, and we just decided, you know what, do the best we can, take advantage of every opportunity. Come to Guatemala for sailfish. We find ourselves in the middle of all these spinners Tuna right here. Looks like it looks like a pretty big school. 
Tuna right there, right there. Come on. There he is. I think we got sushi, Sam. Way to go, man. This is great. Dude, I'm on my little Stella 6000. Oh, he's smoking me, man. Oh. Look at all these spinners and everything. Jason put his right in there. I'm a little worried about all this stuff hitting my line in there now. Look at the tuna busting out there. Look at the tuna busting. Jason, look at him. Yeah, man. Look at him. Now, I see what we're going to do the rest of the day. Well, at least for another half an hour. This is life, baby. We got signs of life. This is unbelievable. You know, we've been fishing for a couple days and we've seen some smaller pods of spinners, but this one's wide open and it is loaded with tuna. Loaded with them. Look like 15, 25 pounders. If I get him in, we're gonna be eating sashimi tonight. There I see is, him. There he is. Coming towards you. Look at the pink hoagie in his mouth. I love that. Huh? Look at the I pink hoagie that. in his mouth. <laughs> this this setup right here, this little 30 to 40 pound Therese rod and the 30 pound braid. This is a perfect setup for these little tuna right here. Come on, buddy. Come here, come here, come here. I'll lift him right up to you. Thank you. Yeah, so we got sushi tonight. Thank you. Fresh fish is always a welcoming thing. Thanks, Jason. You know, it gets spoiled fishing all these great destinations around the world, seeing incredible fishing, unbelievable marlin bites, sailfish, tuna, bone fishing in the Bahamas, fishing Russia, wherever it may be, in my backyard at home. And then you come here with expectations so high, sometimes it's a little difficult when it's not happening. But just keep in mind, we're the lucky ones and we're out here doing it, so. When the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. This is National Geographic moments. This is acres and acres and acres of these things. Yeah, baby! Woo! Wow! But now we gotta get back to looking for our sailfish. I mean, we are here to do a sailfish show, so. <laughs> The following is brought to you by Yo Azuri. Fish the best. You gotta appreciate this. I mean, this is National Geographic moments. This is acres and acres and acres of these things. They're coming up and they're spinning and twirling, but what I found here in the Pacific, the tuna, I mean, the tuna are just boiling right there. The tuna, the porpoise, and the birds are all working together as a team, pushing bait around. It's, it's just great to watch. You know, Jason called the rest of the fleet. Because, I mean, it, it's been slow fishing for days now for everybody. Uh, they communicate out here. He called the other captains. Now at least, you know, one, two, three, four, five boats can all come in, get a tight line, and carry home some tuna for dinner. They might not talk to each other on the dock, but they talk to each other out here. Hi, oh, Tuna coming up with um, with, with uh, Wilson there. Come on, come on. We're on, we're on, we're on. Yeah, baby. Now now we each have our own for sushi. We, we, you gotta love I was worried water. about whether or not you were gonna get to eat any tonight. Right, I didn't know, I knew you weren't gonna share yours with me, but that's okay. There's a tuna with my tuna, right huh? here. There's tuna with my tuna. Uh, Carter. Yeah. You make make your you want to cast it. They're, they're busting right there, about two o'clock, right underneath the birds. Will there he is. Nice yeah. Guy. Woo! He's all right. Up. There's another one. Oh my gosh! Look at him. Did you get that bite? <laughs> Mother sick. What a bite! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, baby. Woo! Wow. Yo, Zuri, man. All the way. Wow. I almost feel like I'm in. I almost feel like I'm at home, Jason. Yeah. A little bit smaller. But... That's all right, man. I like them small, actually. I'm an old man. That's all right. We came to Guatemala. We turned our sailfish show into a tuna show. <laughs> Wide open. All kinds of stuff going on with these spinners here. 
This one's yours, Jeffrey. This one's for you and your family. I would say it all in Spanish, but then my, uh, my Spanish-speaking audience might laugh at me. This one ate really far out of my gas and then smoked me. I got him right here. Six thousand Stella, catching a little 15, 20 pound yellow fin. That's All awesome. right, let's gaff him. That's it. Yeah, baby, yo, Zuri. Guatemala yellow fin. Put him in the box. What Robbie Gibson used to say? Put them in the box, Obi. Put them in the box. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. Good, Good job. Stuff, man. Good, Good job. Stuff. Good job. Come to Guatemala for sailfish. We find ourselves in the middle of all these spinners. Spinner golf, and uh, Jason found them using the binoculars, looking way out. We we're the first boat on the scene. Came in here, caught a bunch on light tackle. It was casting lures and whatnot. It's really, really fun. But now we got to get back to looking for our sailfish. I mean, we are here to do a sailfish show. So. <laughs> when the obsession of Carter Andrews continues. Left flat, left flat. He on ya, he's on ya, he ate ya. Whoa. The obsession of Carter Andrews is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Power Pro. Aftco, precision built offshore fishing tackle and clothing. And by Yo Zuri. Fish the best. One of the problems with Guatemala is the bar's been set so high. There have been, you know, there's so many days that have been had where people are catching 50, 60, even 70 sailfish in a day, that word has gotten out there. So even, you know, when we come down here to fish and only seeing a half a dozen fish and whatnot is, um, is disappointing when really anywhere else, that's a great trip. That's a great trip. 62 miles out really cuts down on our fishing time. It takes us three hours to get here, three hours to get home, and very little time for fishing. Left flat, left flat. Fish on the teaser. Hey, clear water, Sam. He on ya, he's on ya, he ate ya. Got him? He's gone. Jumping. You got him on? Man, I mean, he ate it good. Right teaser. Right teaser. On me. Coming. Coming. Tip down, tip down. I'm on. Woo! That's beautiful. Yes, yeah, Stella. Look at him go. Nice work, team. 62 miles was worth it. Come on, boy, show yourself. I see him. Right here. Jason, he followed that teaser all the way up even with the boat. I was behind him. He's right here. Yeah, he wanted that teaser. It's going down now. Just doesn't want to come up. I mean, just cooperate. There you go. There we go. Gonna jump.
Add the leader. What is this fish doing? I don't know what's up with this fish. This is a tough one, man. This should really be, you know, three, five minutes. I mean, I've already had him in the leader. I had the leader in the tip, so it's a caught fish. Come on, fish. Look, he's still beating hard, man. No, it's good. All right, right here beside you. Hook out. Woo! Yeah, baby! Viva Guatemala! Casa Vieja, Guatemala, baby. Come on down. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. Nice teamwork. Nice teamwork, everybody. Thank you. Great, man. Great. Thank you.